Hi, welcome back to another Film Lab video. I'm Abe Fedig, the creator of Film Lab, the app for digitizing film. And today I want to show you a few new features that are in the new 3.4 beta. And actually everything that's in this new 3.4 beta are things that uh, you Film Lab users have asked for. So let's take a look at what's new. In Film Lab 3.4, the crop tool now has an original option if you want to crop at whatever aspect ratio your camera natively captures at. We also have support for arrow keys in the crop tool so I can arrow up and down or shift up and down to make small adjustments to my crop. Next up, we have new camera support. We added support for several new cameras in this release, including the Canon EOS R1, the EOS R5 Mark II, the X-T50, the GFX 100 S2, the Nikon Z6 III, Panasonic GH7 and G9. And we also added experimental support for X3F RAW files, which are RAW files from Sigma Foveon sensor cameras. That's a really interesting sensor design where they use stacked layers instead of a single mosaic layer. Unfortunately, the support for those files for third-party apps like FilmLab is very poor and it's difficult to find documentation on how to properly work with those files. I would not recommend that you use a Sigma Foveon sensor for your film scanning, but if you are, we're gonna do our best to support it, so try out this new beta build. And then a feature that many people have asked for for a long time is a histogram, and I'm happy to say we finally have one. You can see it here in the adjustments section. It's live, of course, as a histogram should be, and it's actually very useful to have. Uh, I have to say, everyone who's asked for a histogram you are absolutely right. It makes film lab better. I'm glad we have it. It just makes it easier to see as I'm getting close to clipping in my shadows and highlights. Like in this image, I might want to make this sky as bright as possible without clipping. Now that you have a histogram, I can push it up, but then I can see when my blues are starting to clip and then dial it back down. It also works really well with the highlight density and shadow density tools because I can see in the histogram how those edits are changing my image. So everybody who asked for a histogram, thanks for being persistent. I'm glad we have it in Film Lab 3.4. We have a bunch more bug fixes and other improvements coming, and we have some bigger features coming that I'm really excited to share with you in the future. So stay tuned. Thanks for using Film Lab. Have a great day.